Flacco was asked just um, uh, about the way the city has kind of taken to him. The city's been unbelievable. I, I mean, I can't say enough about how welcoming uh, everybody has been. Especially, that is the one strange part, I would say. Not necessarily putting on the uniform and playing, but just coming from Baltimore for most of my career and just seeing everybody out in your regular part of your day and how welcoming the city's been. Um, you know, back to the surreal thing, that's probably been, that's that would probably be a good answer for that. It's, it's definitely been a little bit surreal in terms of how people have treated me around here. Uh, it's, it's that, that stuff always feels good, you know? Um, so hopefully we can keep it going for him. Scott, if if the football team is winning, the quarterback in this town is, is – you know, let me ask you this. David Njoku's kind of ascension has kind of coincided with, with Flacco kind of helping to unlock him. What have you seen from Njoku relative to, to Flacco coming and, and kind of unlocking that? Yeah, that's interesting. I would say it's these are the plays that are designed, and Flacco knows how to execute them and execute them at a high level. I know Stefanski and Alex Van Pelt, the coordinator, they make it a priority to get Njoku the ball pretty much every week. I think it's Amari Cooper, and then it's David Njoku, especially after the loss of Nick Chubb. Right? I, I really think that Njoku is number two on that list, and it hasn't always worked out that way, whether it's the coverage, whether they need him, and protection, whatever it is, maybe it's a quarterback missing him, and it's tight windows, but Flacco has been able to get the ball to him more consistently than not. And you saw that great touchdown throw against Houston. I mean, he put the ball exactly where it had to be. And that's maybe, I, I would assume, most quarterbacks don't feel that confident to put the ball in that tight of a spot. And he tried earlier in the game. He, tra he was double coverage, and he threw the ball there. And it was a good throw. It was just the coverage was really tight. It was a tough catch for Njoku. But I, I think maybe when you throw to your tight end, it's tighter windows, it's compressed field, and Flacco doesn't care about that. And he just knows how to get guys the ball, whether it's Njoku, whether it's Amari Cooper, whoever it is, um, Flacco knows how to get it to him.